So here are the stats after using Blockstrap and Plexity with the best settings applied in Roblox after the new patch. We're talking massive FPS boosts, smoother gameplay, and way lower ping. So stick around because I tested both side by side, and the winner might just surprise you. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Optimize Roblox for the best performance on low-end PCs. Alright guys, let's kick this off strong with one of the simplest but most effective tweaks that can make Roblox run buttery smooth. First, go down to your Windows search bar and type Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Once it shows up, click on it. A window called Performance Options will open. And trust me, this is where the real optimization begins. To make your computer faster and more responsive, select Adjust for Best Performance. This instantly turns off all unnecessary effects that eat up CPU and RAM power. Now, if you still want your desktop to look decent and readable, make sure to keep these two boxes checked. Smooth edges of screen fonts keeps your text clean and sharp so it's not blurry. Show thumbnails instead of icons. Helps you preview images and videos instead of generic icons. Once done, click Apply to save your changes. Next, click the Advanced tab. Under Processor Scheduling, choose Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. This ensures that your CPU focuses its power on active programs like Roblox rather than wasting it on random background processes. Click OK, close everything, and boom. Your PC is now more focused on pure performance. Step 2. Best block strap settings. After the new update, you can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now let's talk about block strap, a launcher many of us have used for boosting FPS and customizing Roblox. But here's the truth. After the latest Roblox update, block strap lost access to fast flags, which means some of the deeper performance tweaks no longer work. It's still decent for smoother performance and faster launching. Start by downloading and installing Blockstrap Launcher from your FPS Boost Pack. Once it's installed, open it and click Configure Settings. You'll see multiple tabs, and we'll go through them all step by step. Integrations tab. Turn on these options. Enable Activity Tracking in Discord. This simply shows your game status, doesn't affect FPS. Query Version Location. Turn this off because it does unnecessary checks that slightly slow down Roblox. Don't exit to Desktop App. Keep this on to launch Roblox instantly without delays. You can also turn off show and game activity if you don't want it. That saves a tiny bit of CPU power. Once you're done, click save at the bottom. Bootstrapper tab. This tab controls how Roblox starts up. Prompt on conflicts when launching another Roblox instance. Keep this on to prevent double launches or crashes. Background updates. Turn this off so Roblox won't update in the background and use CPU power mid-game. Click Save again after you finish. Mods tab. This tab helps reduce GPU load and improve stability. Set mouse cursor to default. This keeps it smooth and simple. Turn on. Use old avatar editor background. It's lighter and reduces GPU strain. You can turn off. Emulate old character sounds. It's optional but frees up small CPU resources. Under preferred energy type, select default for balanced performance. You can also click Open Mods folder and delete unused mods to save memory. Click Save before you leave. Engine Settings tab. This part directly affects Roblox's graphics and FPS. Turn on Allow Block Strap to manage fast flags. Though keep in mind, Roblox's new update now restricts this feature heavily. Now, change these settings. Anti-Aliasing Quality, MSAA. Low for higher FPS. Preserve rendering or quality with scaling. Off to prevent lag during gameplay. Rendering mode, automatic. Blockstrap will choose what works best for your GPU. Texture quality, low or automatic. Best choice for low-end PCs. Click Save once again to confirm. Appearance tab. This one won't affect FPS, but it's good for organization. Set global theme to dark mode, language to English, and bootstrapper style to default or minimal. Shortcuts tab. You can create shortcuts for Roblox or quick settings access here. It doesn't change performance, but it makes things more convenient. Click Save one last time to finish, and that's it. You now have the best Blockstrap setup possible. But since it lost fast flags, it's not as powerful as it used to be. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. 
If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 3. Plexity and Fast Flags The best launcher after the new Roblox update. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now let's talk about Plexity, the new king of Roblox optimization. This launcher is built purely for performance, FPS boosting, and stability, and it still supports fast flags, which Blockstrap sadly lost after the update. Plexity is now the best tool for making Roblox smoother, faster, and more responsive than ever. Start by downloading and installing Plexity from your FPS boost pack. You'll first see a clean setup screen where you can choose between light mode and dark mode. Pick whichever looks best to you. After that, you'll see Roblox priority settings. This controls how much CPU power Roblox gets. If your PC is low-end or mid-range, select high priority so Roblox always gets full CPU access. If you record or stream while playing, select normal priority to stay balanced. Once done, Plexity will confirm that your setup is complete. Inside Plexity, turn on these performance features. Clean Roblox temp files, removes old cache files that slow down Roblox. Clean Roblox logs, deletes leftover logs from previous sessions. Enable multi-threaded rendering, makes Roblox use all your CPU cores efficiently. Allow cross-game teleportation limit, makes switching between games or servers faster. You'll also see a feature called bottleneck detection that can identify whether your CPU or GPU is holding you back. It's optional, so you can skip it for now. Now, go to the Fast Flag section, and here's where Plexity truly shines. Turn on Refresh Rate Unlock. Matches Roblox's FPS with your monitor, e.g. 144Hz equals 144FPS. Enable Max Frame Rate. Removes Roblox's default FPS cap for maximum performance. Set Texture Quality to Low. Great for low-end PCs. Use DirectX DX as your rendering mode. It's the most stable for Windows users. Next, check the Plugins tab. You can enable helpful tools like a live FPS counter or ping monitor. In the Fast Flags Editor tab, you can import your Fast Flag presets. Just go to Editor Settings, Add New, paste your Fast Flag JSON file from your FPS Boost Pack, and hit Save. Now launch Roblox directly from Plexity. You'll instantly notice smoother visuals, faster loading, and higher FPS. Many players even report over 200 plus FPS on this setup. And here's the best part. After Roblox's latest update, Plexity is completely stable. No crashes, no launch errors, and full fast flag support. Step 4. Use MSI Utility V3 to make your GPU respond faster. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Let's boost your GPU's response time to make Roblox even more responsive and delay-free. This last step helps your graphics card and system communicate faster, reducing input lag and making gameplay smoother overall. Open MSI Utility V3 from your FPS. Boost Pack. You'll see a list of all devices connected to your computer. Find your GPU. It will say either NVIDIA, AMD Radeon, or Intel. Check the box under the MSI column next to it, then set Interrupt Priority to High. This tells Windows to give your GPU maximum priority for rendering graphics and processing frames. If you have an integrated GPU like Intel HD or ARC, you can also enable it the same way. Once done, click Apply and close the app. From now on, your graphics card will react faster, your camera will move smoother, and your FPS will stay more stable even in big Roblox maps or heavy builds. While Block Strap was a good option before, the latest update completely changed the game. Plexity is now the ultimate launcher for Roblox FPS boosting. It's fast, reliable, and still supports advanced fast flag configurations that take your game to the next level.